Hey, what's up guys? This is Amaki the Sky bringing you another toy unboxing. Today we are going to unbox the Hiya Toys Godzilla King of the Monsters. Uh, I just got this just a few moments ago. Again, shout out to Sir Jasper for hooking me up with uh, this one. So, um, let's check the box, for the box first. Here is the, I think this is the front of the box. This is the top. It says Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Same as the bottom. Here's the side. The other side and this is the back of the box. Unfortunately, mine comes with a minor dent, but it's fine. So, um, let's open our box first. By the way, this is my first Hia Toys. I don't have um, any Hia Toys in my collection. But as far as the sample goes, or the reviews, I think this would be a great Godzilla figure. I am not sure if it's more, um, more better than the SH Monster Arts because I sold mine so I cannot um, get do a comparison with that figure but here is our the uh, toys as you can see there are no accessories no extra hands no effect parts just plain old Godzilla The hands of mine, um, this is not the touch of the box. Uh, I think this would be, we can attach this easy. I hope. Because I, yeah. It attached as easy as that. So here is our, um, he has always got Silla. I'm not sure if you know if this looks better than the SH Monster Arts. I had the um, King of the Monsters 2019 SH Monster Arts before, but unfortunately, I sold that figure because I saw this one. Um, on pre-order that's why I decided to get this one instead because this one is a bigger figure and it feels a little heavier than the SH Monster Arts 2 so here he is or Godzilla not sure if the camera is catching every detail but For me, this one looks better than the SH Monster Arts. I'm not sure about um, other details, but the head itself, it looks better. The figure feels better because of the weight. And I guess the articulation is the same. So, for articulation, I think this is just a continuous barbell joint in the head. You can open your mouth like so. 
and the song is in a hinge but uh yeah i cannot reach the song with nine nails right now the tail is on a ball joint but it's a lot stiffer than i would want to but it's fine the, de the detail in the dorsal fin is really good the hands can rotate 360 the elbow can bend up to that far yep to that far and the hand is on a ball joint feet can kick up to that far forward that far back oh it, it can even kick higher sorry about that can kick higher forward can do slip just like that the knees can only go that far and the feet is so stiff I don't want to mess with it that much so yep the, this figure is really stiff I don't want to I'm not sure if I want to pose it much but yeah from from the looks of it this is better than the first he had toys Godzilla that they released because the first one if you push the head that far there will be gaps around the neck but this one seems like it doesn't have any of those problems so yeah that's going to be it for our PSOS Godzilla King of the Monsters it's a short review because it's it's Godzilla and yeah I well before we go I do want to do a size comparison first forgot about the size comparison here he is next to the soul soul of Chigokin Mecha Godzilla Kiryu it's not as bad as as I was expecting but yep that is the Kiryu compared to the Hia Toys Godzilla so yep that's going to be it for our review um, I think if you are trying to get yourself a Godzilla figure or if you are trying to start a Godzilla collection this is you should start with this one because this one is so cheap it only costs around 40 USD so yeah it's a good figure for its price that's all I'm going to say thank you guys for watching this is I'm a cutie sky I'll see you again guys on my next toy unboxing bye bye thank you for watching